Two Aquarius are not playing when it comes to dating. Look, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Your past relationships, I see a lot of you Aquarius thinking that it could have been really something good. But a lot of you Aquarius woke up and realized that these people were very much so lazy. King of Pentacles. Um, they really didn't necessarily put in a lot of effort when it came to the past relationships that you had. And a lot of you Aquarius, um, they very much so misjudged you. They judged you quite a lot, uh, especially at a time around now. Um, it's a lot of people with some serious problems of their own, right? That they're not actually deciding to handle judging you quite a, quite a bit. And they have uh, problems that they haven't even settled yet, right? So the strength was like, okay, you Aquarius are like, you know what? Bump all of y'all. Y'all will basically, you Aquarius will basically go talk to some new people, right? By yourselves and you're not worried about it because a lot of you Aquarius know that you're pretty much a good catch. So you now back on the market trying to date people, right? And the king of wands, right? Um, a lot of you Aquarius realize that there's a lot of overconfident people that are overly estimating themselves and their value and their effort that they're putting into a relationship because the King of Wands is a, is a, is a very overconfident king, right? So it speaks to how a lot of people will think that they're providing so much value into your life, but they're really not. So the king, so now the Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups represents. So you have a lot of options. A lot of you Aquarius have a lot of options. You've been going out on a couple of dates, trying to find if a person is really good for you, right? If it's a good fit for you. And you have some people that are interested, but you still have some questions about them because a lot of you Aquarius are trying to figure out whether or not these people are a good fit for your life because so far so good you like what it is that you see um there's some things that you don't you still don't know about a person that a lot of you aquarius want to make sure that you, if they were to be in certain situations with you they wouldn't turn out to 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 do a complete 180 and then flip on you and make it seem like it's your fault so you aquarius want to make sure if they're loyal in the first place the people that you're getting but the fourth pentacles and the star represents a lot of you Aquarius don't really have to do a whole lot of work around now because the four of pentacles very much so is you 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 don't have to to do a lot of approaching around at this time this is more so where a lot of people are very much so interested in you and getting to know you so, I mean, you don't really have to approach too, too hard. You don't have to try too hard. And um, like I said, the star card is Aquarius anyway, so you showed up in your own reading. But this just speaks to how a lot of people want to get your attention in the first place. Like I said, you have some takers. You know, you have some people that are interested in what you've got going on. It's just that it's you, Aquarius, that are unsure what they've got going on. So let's clarify the um, let's clarify the wheel of fortune. Page of swords, three of cups, the death card, nine of cups. Right, because what's going on here is the page of swords and the three of cups, like it is. Uh, like I said, people from the past that you are getting to know, only interested in casual hookups course you Aquarius are not really going for that right so the death card and the nine of cups you had to put an end to that because that's not something that you Aquarius were going for in the first place so the nine of cups now represents you Aquarius being quite content to to, to take the initiative and begin to talk to people that you want to talk to instead of having people come to you but they turn out to be a complete dud so you Aquarius are willing to approach or get approached. Y'all don't really mind. Um, a lot of you Aquarius have never really been a zodiac sign that really minds like that anyway. Y'all will go up to people and do the approaching and do the talking and try to find out what time it is with them, right? If the two of you are a good fit. Um, let's clarify the star card now, which represents 
some of those people being interested in you and what you've got going on. So let's see what's going on. So the lovers, the ten of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and the nine of wands. To clarify the star, right? The lovers. Ten of pentacles says it all. You know, you you like I said, you have some people that are interested in getting to know you. Um, and at the very least, they're saying that they're interested in getting to know you for the long term, right? They want to be, they, they are, they're at least the way that it looks on the outside so far, it looks like they want to date you long term, start up a family with you, be with you. But a lot of you Aquarius have to make sure that they're really being serious about this or if they're basically just wasting your time. Right. So the Ace of Pentacles represents this is why it is that you got to take your time. Right. When you're talking to people, you really have to take your time. It's not always about the first person that tells you that they care about you and that they love you and that, you know, you should just throw caution into the wind and then just everything will be OK. You have to be very careful about the quality of the people that you're dating. And the, really, the only way that you can really understand is through time. People can say anything that they want to. People lie all the time. So that's why you have to listen. If they are going to lie, you have to listen to the lie that they would tell you and then check to see if they're lying or if they're actually telling you the truth right, through their actions and see if their words and their, accent, their actions match. The Nine of Wands, however, represents, because I just see a lot of you Aquarius, be, you know, you're being, you're tired of, you know, a lot of people having to lie to, to get what it is that they want, right? Instead of just being honest, you know, because people can tell you that you're looking for, uh, to play the field a little bit and that you have other people in the picture and you're just not necessarily sure about who it is that you want. And I, and I personally see that a lot of you Aquarius would probably be open to something like that in the first place because Aquarius is the ultimate politician. How many people knew that? Aquarius is the zodiac sign that you can talk shop with and can delegate to and can go back and forth and talk to them and work out an agreement. It would be Aquarius, right? But if a person doesn't have the guts to do that and they think that they're going to sneak some whatever on the side, that's a bad look on their part. So overall, very strong reading, very good reading. A lot of you Aquarius, you know, you're you're more wise about the quality of the people that you pick. Um, that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video.